Welcome to a brand new series on the channel. As you can already tell by the title, we'll be playing some Rugby League Live 2. I've got both the original version of the game and also the World Cup edition, but I decided to go with the original for one reason only, and that's... Yes, the shoulder charge is back and in full effect, hopefully this season we can pull off quite a few of them. As for the team that I'll be using in this one and done series, since we're already playing with a Sydney based team in Parramatta, I think it's only right that we take our talents to Queensland and play as the Brisbane Broncos. So as you just saw there, we did purchase the DLC way back. So we'll be playing with the 2013 rosters and uh, we'll be using New Zealand in the internationals. And since we're playing as Queensland in our Eels career mode, we're going to be playing with the New South Wales Blues so the way I'll be playing this is I won't be I won't be playing through every single game. I will play one week and sim the next so we can get through the season quicker. Now if you guys would like to see more Rugby League Live 2 more often, go ahead and smash that like button as we take a look at our team for round one. So the year is 2013, and after simulating through our preseason matches, two of our players ended up getting injured, and this is what our round one team looks like. Starting with our back five, we've got Corey Norman, Josh Hoffman, Jack Reed, Justin Hodges, and Jarrell Yao Yi. In the halves, we have Scott Prince and Ben Hunt. Our front row consists of Josh Maguire, Andrew McCulloch, and Sam Fide. And in the back row, we've got Alex Glenn, David Stagg, and Corey Parker. Finally, rounding off the 17 on the interchange bench, we have Denon Kemp, Ben Hennon, Mitchell Dodds, and Dunamis Louis. Alright, so here we go, back on one of the classics. As we take a look at the Manly Sea Eagles who, I'm pretty sure won the comp back in 2013. They have a pretty stacked squad and I think they were the highest rated team in the game. It's either them or the Roosters, I can't quite remember but... Yeah, like I was saying, a stacked squad as we start off with Manly in attack. Anthony Watmo gets wrapped up on the last year. It's been a while since I've played this game but I think we'll adjust fairly quickly as we return here with Jarao Yagi with the fend and he turns a defender inside out a beautiful return and start to the set by Yao Yi. Um, fairly certain this is my first series of Rugby League Live 2. Back when this game was out I don't think I was making league content on YouTube but I was however keeping up with Insane's uploads and, and Mr. Luke. They're both pretty much the OGs of this rugby league, the small rugby league gaming community on YouTube. As we try to exploit the short side here with Yao Yi. Last tackle on the 10. And it looks like we have Scott Prince here at first receiver. We try popping it in behind the line. It actually goes into a manly player and we get the tackle count reset. One of the, uh, one of the exploits in the game. Unintentional of course, but I guess it's good to know to have in our back pocket. As Maguire settles us in the middle, and we're going to shift it to the left here. Just keep it simple, a little cutout ball, then a draw and pass by Prince. Linking up with Corey Norman, and our first try here on Rugby League Live 2 comes by way of Corey Norman with an assist to Scott Prince. Uh, not bad for a first try, just keeping it simple, especially while on the opponent's goal line. As we finally get the green lights. And it's going to be Scott Prince here taking the shots at goal. And this one is away to the left. One of my main goals for this first season is to try and utilize the shapes that the game gives. I remember there being some really good attacking shapes in the game. And hopefully we can execute some set plays and deliver that quality content as we uh, get the feed to the scrum. A forward pass by Manly in their own half puts us in a decent position here as Corey Norman goes fishing on the blind side. But he's pulled down. Players overrunning the ball. We send it to Reed. And Reed gets wrapped up 10 meters out from the try line. We still have two tackles to work. Uh, I am playing on veteran, by the way. If it does get a little too easy, I might have to bump it up to legend. As we try to pop an early kick in behind the line, but it's scooped up by Manly. And that pretty much wraps up all the action in the first half. I've got to say, I am enjoying this game quite a bit. But it's definitely a refreshing experience. Uh, the game style from this compared to Rugby League Live 4. The change of pace I wasn't expecting. 
much of a difference but you can definitely feel the pace of the game it's picked up a bit especially when you're on the front foot and you have momentum on your side it's actually been a lot of fun so far as we jump into the second half 53 minutes in which oh it's a terrible a terrible inside ball gets intercepted and uh, that's what happens when you don't keep things simple especially in your half of the field you end up throwing an intercept just like I did as Kieran Foran takes the shot at goal and he converts the 4 into 6 as they take the lead back in attack with Manly and I think it's Glenn Stewart taking the tackle on the 20 third tackle they piece together some nice passes and it ends up with Foran getting wrapped up as they continue to shift it to this left side look at the ball movement from the AI Josh Hoffman does well there to shovel Farah into touch but it was some nice play by the AI back with Hunt down the short side almost we almost lose possession throwing a stupid pass but it's cleaned up by Hoffman as we send it to Dodds Dodds to Hunt Hunt with the drawing pass to Dynamis Louis Louis to Kemp and Kemp gets pulled down five out we're gonna run it here on the last Hodges to Prince Prince to Norman and it ends up being brilliant defense by Manly to win it here in round one of this Brisbane Broncos career mode six points to four a fairly low scoring game I mean I was kind of expecting it to be a low scoring game either that or me getting flogged by the AI thankfully it was the latter we will be doing a people's choice for this Broncos season on Rugby League Live 2 so if you want to vote for who you thought were the players of the match you can vote just like how we do it with the Parramatta Eels in the comment section as we sim past round 2 and as you can see here we get defeated by the St. George Illawarra Dragons 10 points to 8 with Josh Dugan picking up man of the match as always if you made it to the end of the video hit up that comment section with a hashtag odd squad slap that like button for more rugby league content or more content in general thank you for tuning in and i'll see you, 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 you. later hey hey pass the smoky two ways hey day smoking since the school days after school attention got us too fake we ain't learning shit but how to skip out